Hi, crafty friends. I am on today as part of the YouTube Christmas in July hop. It's hosted by Tamika Sending Smiles. I will link all the participants down below. Each participant has a prize giveaway. When you watch the videos, if you will pay attention to the numbers that are given out, you will need to send those numbers to Tamika's email, which I will list in the description down below. So be sure you pay close attention, comment on every video, and collect all the numbers from every participant. I think there are 20 total participants, and it's going on until the end of the month. So, let's get on with what I have for you today. I have a little project share. I picked up these frames from Hobby Lobby. They are in the Christmas shop, and these were from last year, but I feel certain they'll sell them again. I think I've seen them every year. They come in all different shapes and sizes. There's a different one. This one doesn't have a hanger. It sets up on a little easel. They come in different colors. Uh, they have this beautiful pink if you're doing pink Christmas projects. Um, it also comes in a red. But you can always get the white ones and paint them any color you desire. Some people like to do a blue and silver uh, wintry Christmas. So you could do most anything you want to with these. Here's an example of what I've done with mine. I made several of these last year and they're so simple and quick. And if you just need a, a little simple something to add to a gift, maybe you want to tie this onto your gift bag, or maybe you want to wrap it up and present it to your recipient as a gift. Um, these would make nice ornaments on a tree. And the way I did mine are so simple. Uh, I wish I knew how to insert photos. I could insert photos of all that I did last year, but... I'm not very tech savvy and I don't know how to do all those things, but you can find a lot of my project shares, my Instagram feed, and also if you're on Facebook, I have a Kelly Lynn's Craft uh, page over there where I post all my makes. This one was made with just a little cutout image and I just had these images that were digital and all you have to do, the back has just this little bitty hook here, and you just open it and push the back open, and it has a little piece of paper on the inside, and then it has the little plastic piece. Um, you can leave that plastic in, or you can take it out. Take this little piece right here and simply trace your image. Lay it down wherever you want it, and then just cut around it. It's that simple. If you don't want to use images, you could use simple things like stickers. Just put your paper down and see what all you would need to fit in that little space. I did some with these cute little deer stickers last year. They turned out super cute. You could die cut a flower or some type of Christmas picture and, uh, just cut it to size, and it wouldn't matter if the whole thing wasn't showing. Then, these are just simple little jimmies that you can pick up just about anywhere. And you might want to add a little extra glue to make sure they don't fall off. But then you just put it back in, close up your little cl closure. Now, I did not put the plastic back in this one. These little bows... I think they came from Hobby Lobby. They're just little sticker bows. These were some stickers I had in my stash. I just cut this little corner piece off on this one and glued it down and added jimmies. And I had these little bottle trees from uh, 
yeah, bottle trays, that's what you call them, from Dollar Tree. And I simply took it, took this, and took the bottom off, and took my little wire snips, and snipped off the end of it, so it would be very, very close. I'll just do it and show you real quick. It's so simple. This comes right off, and you can snip off the bottom, and then I took my little snips. If you don't have snips, scissors would work just as well, and I made one side flat by just getting rid of some of the little brush things, and um, glued it right onto my frame. It was that, that easy. And I wanted to see if you could do a shaker, and you probably can't see it on camera, but I did add some of these little shaker ble uh, piece of uh, stars, red stars, and I put them in there, put the plastic on top, and I added a little piece of foam, and then closed up the back. And I thought that one turned out really cute. Simple stickers and a tree. This is another uh, altered project I made. Um, these these are sold at Dollar Tree, these little boxes. It's just a wooden, wooden box. Now, the little wooden houses that they sell at Dollar Tree are perfect for this. I used all my houses last year and I haven't been able to find any more. But if you can find those wooden houses, you can make very cute shadow boxes with them. Uh, this trim I found on Amazon, and I was going to show that to you. Um, it came in a big bag like this, so I've got plenty to last me all Christmas season. And it's thick and furry, and you can just fold it over if you don't need the whole wide thickness. Or you could even cut it if you want to. You see, when you cut it, it opens up. And I just glued it shut. Last year, I used this from Hobby Lobby, the yarn bee. Find it in the yarn department. This I like better. It's thin, but it's real furry. And it will fit right inside your box just for a little added trim and you don't have to do the whole box but i did have to paint my box uh, my house boxes that i used last year i did paint them but then i just used a little bit of trim on the inside but i just picked out a pattern paper that i liked put it in the background this was a dollar tree uh ornament and I cut off one side of the tree just so I could have it to look like the tree was just standing there in the, you know, background. And this was a deer ornament. And I had these little styrofoam deer in my stash. So I just glued one back there in the background. Added this tinsel. It didn't have enough to go all the way around. And just stuck on a bow. Very, very simple make great holiday decor. I usually do paper crafting, but every now and then I like to venture out and try altering things. Um, I do not do SVG files and 3D uh, die cuts and all that kind of stuff. So I kind of improvise uh, since I don't know how to do all those things. So for my giveaway i'm going to give away what i made to share with you today my frames my little shadow box i've got a christmas paper kit um i didn't pull everything because i'm still trying to decide what all i'm going to gift i've got these two trims i'm going to throw in my gift they're very nice this is the red truck country farmhouse uh, I've got these berry garlands, one in gold, one in pearl white. I'm going to gift those. And then I've got a paper kit. And I'm also going to gift some of the undecorated frames for you to use in your crafting. So the number that you need to send in the email to Tamika is 6. 
So remember that number, write it down, and then look in the description box, see who all's participating, and move on to the next crafter and watch what they have to share with you. And they also will have a giveaway. I, for, I failed to mention that the grand prize for sending all the numbers to Tamika will be $50. And I think that's a gift certificate. I'm not 100% sure, but I'll double check that and I'll put that down below. So thank you so much for watching, allowing me to be a part of this hop. And a thanks to all the other crafters who are participating. And thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and to hit the like button. You must be subscribed and you must hit the like button in order to be entered. Thank you. Bye for now.